We were sitting down for dinner and drinks and they were like, hey, do you think um, we can use John's sperm and we can have a baby and then we can donate and carry a baby for you? It kind of started as a joke. And then later, Neva and I were talking about it and we were like, but really, like, could we make that work? It, it's like a bond now that is, it's like the rest of our lives, like we're, we're family. Okay, I'm not opposed to children, it's just gonna like look different. Actually being educated in how the alternative ways uh, can happen, I'm over here thinking like, well, how are we gonna make this work? And it turns out there's a lot of resources mm -hmm. out there that are already existing that allow you to do this process uh, at home. We were lucky with Aura, it took the first try and uh, with Esri, it took the, the second try. Kelsey is very open with like, this is your baby. You can, you know, touch my belly, like whatever, talk to her, all that type of stuff. Um, so there's always going to be a level of separation with using surrogacy, but I think for that, all four of us did, I think, a really great job of being as connected as possible and open as possible. And I just was in the bathtub angry that I wasn't going to get an epidural and that this baby was coming at the house and early and it was probably a total of seven or eight contractions from the one at the end of the bed where I felt a slight push to when she came out. And John was still able to cut the cord, um, which was great. And Amy was there ready to do skin to skin. And um, so even though it like came about untraditionally, we were still able to do all of the things um, except the epidural of our birth plan that we wanted to. And so that was, I think also really special. And now it's like, it's more family than it is a friendship. Um, and like, we are, like we're auntie and uncle to, to their children, you know, auntie and auntie to, to Esri. You don't think that you can ever truly love something as much as you love your child. And it was just, this is my child. It has been a really long, long process to have her. Um, and for years of my life, never thought that would happen. And to have that and to hold her, and she just like snuggled in and had her hand on my chest and her head right here. It was like the most right moment in my life. <laughs>